David Cassidy was moved to the ICU on Sunday as his condition began deteriorating. TMZ reported, David Cassidy was moved to the ICU on Sunday as his condition began deteriorating. TMZ reported, Cassidy was suffering from organ failure and was in need of a kidney transplant when he was admitted to a Florida hospital earlier this week. Now, the former teen heartthrob's son, Bo and his ex-wife, have been called to the hospital as the situation becomes more dire. According to TMZ, the Partridge family star is reportedly on a breathing tube. There's really no issue anymore for a transplant, a source said to TMZ. It's futile. Cassidy, 67, was placed into a medically induced coma after he arrived at the hospital on Wednesday in an attempt to control his pain, and his family was told to expect the worst. Throughout his acting career, Cassidy struggled with alcohol abuse issues that resulted in DWIs in 2010, 2013 and 2014 and a stint in rehab. He filed for bankruptcy in 2015. Earlier this year, Cassidy stumbled off a stage while slurring his words in Southern California and later attributed the fall to dementia, a disease which also ailed his mother and grandfather. He's most widely known for his role as Keith Partridge, the eldest son on The Partridge Family sitcom, which aired from 1970 to 1974. A number of fans and famous faces took to Twitter on Sunday to send their well wishes to Cassidy.